In this video, we're going to be installing Font Awesome and setting it up within our application. The first thing we'll do is we'll install it, download it, and then we'll include it in our, our angular.json file. And we'll be doing that in this video, and then we'll test it, make sure it's working. Down in the description, you'll find these links. One will be the snippet, if you want to just copy and paste it into your project, and, and also uh, Font Awesome website. And that is this website right here. And to find this page, you can actually go to Docs and then click on the right here using a package manager. And this shows you how to download it into your project. And right here, you can just copy this and then open up the command line, paste it in there, and, and then stall Font Awesome. Let's go take care of that. If we go back here, open up the command line, and then I'll shut this down from the last video and clear everything out. And then within your CI spa, you want to download uh, Font Awesome and hit enter. Now that we have installed it, we should have it in our, our uh, node modules folder. If we go and open up our project, then go into the uh, spa and then within your node modules, we should have Font Awesome and there it is. Now we'll, we'll need to go and pull in uh, these uh, packages right here. Now I had trouble when I first was setting this up. I, I had issues with getting the icons working. The reason was, was I was installing this one, but I was not installing the solid and the brands. And if we go and we'll check out the website, if we go back to here, they have different um, types of icons. And if we go back up, oh, actually navigate to the bottom here, click on basic use. And then uh, here is where I saw it. So let's say, for example, you want access to the solid icons and the brand icons. You want to bring in both of those files right here. That's the solid and the brands. And as well with the font awesome also. You want to bring that in also. So let's go back to the documentation. Now, let's say you you're, have the pro version. Then you could use, um, you know, regular. And that is this one as well. They got that there but we're not going to include that because I, I don't have the paid version and then if you want to um, just check out the solid and the brand icons let's go and see that so you know the difference so let's go and click on the icons and then let's just click on the first one here and as you can see right here brands so all the brand icons you'll uh, you'll want to pull in that brand library and then if you go back to here then down at the bottom, I think, is the other one. I think, uh, let's see here. Click on this one. And this is the regular one. And that's the other library. So just make sure if you want access to brands and solids, just make sure you pull in both of those libraries. And we'll, we'll do that. Let's go and open that up a while. I'll close this. And then we'll go down to... Angular JSON, and this is where we could go and pull in all our different libraries. And then they have a, a, a array you could pull that in. Now there's multiple ways of doing it. You could actually pull it in within, within your JavaScript, or your I mean your, your styles page. But I'll just pull it in here, this would be fine. So this is inside of our node modules folder. So if we go uh, dot dot s, and then we'll just copy and paste this copy paste paste and then the other one is the uh, brands and then the the last one will be solid okay let me get rid of that no errors now we're ready to pull in some icons so we'll test we'll make sure the brands one is working and the solid one is working let's go back to the uh the site and this is actually regular. I think this is the purchase one. You, you have to purchase the pro version to get that, I think. If we go back here, and let's test our, our brand's um, icon. So I'll just copy this one. Go back to our project. We'll throw it in any one, actually. Actually, let's just go hit Control P, and we'll go inside of our values component. And I'll just, Toss that right here. I'll put it inside of the P tag and paste. And that will test our brands. Okay, and then we'll go and we'll pull in another one. 
And that will be, uh, which one was that? That This is brand, so we'll, let's go pull in a solid icon and we'll go back here. And let's find a solid icon. Let's see if this is a solid. Yes, as you can see right here, solid. Copy this one. We'll make sure this one's working and then go back to our project. And in here, I'll put it inside of a P tag again and paste it. And this will test our solid icons. All right, save this. Let's go to our front end and we got to make sure we boot up our, our spa. And then we'll go and check it in the browser and make sure that's working. Okay, so here in the browser, click on refresh. Okay, and both of our icons are working. So you wanna make sure you test your brands and your solid. I ran into that issue, like I was putting some of them in and then half of them weren't working. I was like, well, why weren't, you know, why aren't they working? And then I realized you have to pull in both of those. So, so now that we know both of these are working, let's go and set up our bootstrap and we'll do that in the next video. So I'll see you then.